Hi, it's Jim Hilgendorf. You know, we talk about uh, determination, perseverance, never giving up in the face of obstacles, believing in ourselves. But there's one person that I think embodies these qualities in an extraordinary degree. She's one of the heroes, or heroines rather, of my life. Her name is Helen Keller. And Helen was born in 1880 in Alabama and for the first 19 months of her life was a pretty ordinary child. Then she was stricken with a disease that left her both blind and deaf for the rest of her life. After several very lonely, terrible years, she met her lifelong teacher, Ann Sullivan, who with incredible patience and care um, allowed and taught Helen to communicate with language to the outside world. Helen Keller later went on to become one of the most admired women of the 20th century, an extraordinary woman. And uh, I want to read just a few things from my, one of my books. It's called Handbook for Youth in a Muddied Age. But I think these uh, things that Helen had to say apply to any age whatsoever. She said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Be of good cheer. Do not think of today's failures, but of the success that may come tomorrow. You have set yourself a difficult task, but you will succeed if you persevere, and you will find a joy in overcoming obstacles. Remember, no effort that we make to, assay, to attain something beautiful is ever lost. Many persons have a wrong idea of what constitutes true happiness. It is not attained through self-gratification, but through fidelity to a worthy purpose. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. The only thing worse than being blind is having sight and no vision. And she said also, security is mostly a superstition. It does not exist in nature, nor do the children of men as a whole experience it. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. A happy life consists not in the absence, but in the mastery of hardships. And finally, one phrase, what I'm looking for is not out there, it's in me. Thank you.